It's election time again. Time for everyone in this country to cast their ballots and decide who will represent them. And decisions are what Michael Shadlin, a neuroscientist at Columbia Zuckerman Institute, studies. Dr. Shadlin says that when choosing which candidate to vote for, your brain secretly does math. And he's discovered many of these computations by exploring how our brains ask questions of the world. What's the perception of vision to a blind person? The way we think about it traditionally in neuroscience, the blind person takes information in the world, okay, with a stick. And then the idea would be you take all those impressions from the hand, you take the information, operate on the information, but that's just complete nonsense. It gets that blind person exactly backward. The blind person is obviously asking questions of the world. Might I move here? Can I walk here? Will I bump into something if I take another step forward? The stick is just providing answers to an interrogation about the world, a purposeful set of questions about what he or she might do. When you vote, you just don't say, I'm going to vote for candidate A or candidate B. Let me just open my ears and my eyes to newspapers and the radio and just like just pour it all in. No, you interrogate the news for evidence bearing on whether this person cares about the economy in certain ways, whether they care about issues that matter to you in terms of um, freedom of expression, uh, women's rights, civil rights. The brain organizes information in accordance to what it does with the information and the things that correspond to ideas in our brain. They work like the parts of our brain that lead our bodies to move. There are neurons that keep track of information over long times in the brain. The cells that do this are attached to the parts of the body that actually act in accordance with whatever decision is being made. These cells help us make decisions by doing math, Dr. Shadlin has discovered, by adding and subtracting and calculating ratios, logarithms, and probabilities. All the computations that we've discovered, the trade-off between speed and accuracy of decisions, how confident we are in a decision, comes down to operations on information. And those operations are best articulated in the language of mathematics. So when you vote, you are weighing evidence for and against candidate A or candidate B. Your brain is grasping ideas. And the organization of that in the brain, what gives rise to it, is really very similar to grasping objects. So this November, when you join millions in voting, maybe take a moment and ask yourself, how did my brain make this decision?